Hey guys, BrewerCozard59 here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we've got a pretty exciting one as we're going to be talking about uh, some cool LEGO Battle Pack set ideas. Now, if for those of you who do not know, I actually uh, really like to make custom uh, LEGO sets. So what I've been doing is uh, over the past few months using LEGO Digital Designer uh, to make custom sets and then Photoshop to make a box art for them posting pictures of that on my Instagram as well as videos here on YouTube and I thought I'd go ahead and do that for battle packs so this is a bit of a Lego set ideas video on battle packs but rather than just talk about them I thought I'd actually go ahead and physically uh, digitally make these so you guys can kind of get a visual of these battle packs that I'm kind of thinking of uh, so all these battle packs you see in this video are made by me um, but anyways, uh, don't forget also to check out my Instagram and again, as I said, so what we're going to be doing in this video, taking a look at five, uh, custom battle packs I made, talk about them. And, uh, I'd love to hear down in the comments below. If you have any set ideas or any battle pack ideas, I definitely put that down in the comments below. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started and take a look at these custom battle packs. All right. So the very first battle pack we have here is the Rebel Trooper Battle Pack. Now, uh, this is a battle pack I was quite surprised that LEGO has not remade since 2008. It's been 10 years, actually over 10 years, and uh, definitely this is one that we need to see remade. So the one, the way I kind of thought of it is uh, we'd include three Rebel Troopers, again, not four, because I was when I was making, designing these battle packs, I wanted to kind of think in a way Lego wouldn't they usually don't include four of the same figure in a set it's quite rare nowadays so I ended up including a kind of like a first order or, sorry a, a rebel kind of like pilot or driver as well as three troopers and uh, again they all include their stud shooters in terms of the vehicle it was kind of tough because uh, for all the other uh, battle packs here they all have a specific vehicle or a version of a vehicle that they use in the films or the TV show but uh, for the rebel troopers they don't really have a specific vehicle like a ground vehicle that they used so I just made a small uh, brown a small kind of gray speeder and this is based off of the uh, rebel trooper battle pack from a year or two ago and again I thought this was kind of cool just a bit of a simple vehicle uh, but this would be a great set idea I think this would be a fun one to have and build an army up. So this is the Rebel Trooper Battle Pack. All right, next off we have the Naboo Trooper Battle Pack. Now, yes, while making these battle packs, I wanted to kind of make sure that these were somewhat feasible by Lego. And while Episode 1 definitely isn't as popular as some of the other films, Lego has made a decent bit related to Naboo. And therefore, I feel like this would be somewhat of a set that they could make. Um, but this is a really cool custom battle pack I made. Uh, what I ended up doing was including two Naboo officers, kind of the Naboo commander, which is on the right, and a Gungan warrior. I think this would be a terrific battle pack uh, for, you know, $15. And not only that, but vehicle IQ would be kind of cool. It's a mini, uh, smaller version of the Naboo uh, flash speeder. Again, all these battle packs that try to make a vehicle that they use and kind of make a smaller version of it. And I am really happy. This would be a terrific battle pack to have. Again, this would be a nice way for folks who want to build up those Naboo mocks and then also have this cool little nice build as well. So I wanted to make a build that actually was decent, not just a random odd vehicle made out of parts. I wanted to make it resemble somewhat of a, uh, somewhat resemble a real vehicle. So again, this would be a great battle pack with uh, two officer or two uh, troopers, an officer, and a Gungan. So there's a Nebu Trooper battle pack. All right, the next Saga battle pack set idea I have is the Corson Trooper battle pack. Uh, this would be kind of this would have been a perfect battle pack to release a few years ago with that Corson police gunship set. But basically, what this would be is a way to build up your shock trooper army. So what this set would include is three shock troopers, uh, which you can see here, as well as a Corazon police droid. Uh, if you remember in the Clone Wars, those were seen quite a bit throughout <clears throat> uh, the shows. Uh, but that's kind of my brick built one in the back. It's maybe a bit tough to see, 
Uh, but that was actually a build I really enjoyed making. Uh, his kind of head is made using the, uh, I believe it's the Fez piece in uh, dark blue. Um, but again, that's a really cool build. Um, and I made a really cool battle pack. And in terms of the vehicle, I wanted to include a police uh, speeder. Now, the ones in the show, they are actually kind of a double cockpit version. Uh, but I ended up just making a smaller single cockpit one. And I think it looks terrific. So this would be a great way with three shock troopers and your police droid. A great way to build up that army in a pretty awesome vehicle that you can really buy multiples of and use in mocks. So uh, this would be a great battle pack, the Corazon Trooper battle pack. Um, and hopefully LEGO makes one of these in the future. And next off, this is actually probably one of my favorite of these five battle packs that I've made. Just because of the fact that this is such a perfect battle pack. Um, so basically, this would be the Geonosis battle pack. And I mean, why hasn't LEGO made this? This is like a perfect battle pack to make. You could include two Geonosian battle droids. In this case, I did the sand red one, uh, which resemble uh, episode two rather than the dark orange ones from the Clone Wars. And then two Geonosians in a cannon. And this uh, micro version of the cannon, again, only includes like 80 something pieces. So this is a terrific battle pack. This is one that actually I personally feel makes a ton of sense. Because uh, you can, this small version of the cannon looks terrific. So it would be probably one of the best builds in a battle pack just in general um, and then again two Geonosians two droids this would have been a perfect battle pack to release back in 2013 when they were remaking those episode 2 sets this would have been perfect and I still feel this um, with the um, Jedi and clone trooper battle pack a s battle pack like this coming out in summer or in 2019 it would still be perfect uh, while the other one is still on shelves and this would be actually a great uh, two combo battle packs, but this is just a great battle pack idea. I feel like this would be one of the best battle packs just in general. Um, but here we have the Geonosis battle pack. Again, let me know what you guys think. But anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the final LEGO battle pack set idea. All right, and the final battle pack, this is one everyone wants. This is the 501st Trooper battle pack. Now, why LEGO has not made this, I am not sure, but this would be one that would sell very well. Now, this would include two 501st Troopers, a 501st uh, kind of driver. Again, LEGO Digital Designer doesn't have a helmet for a 501st driver, so I included just a Scout Trooper one. And then, uh, I, in this case, I included a R Trooper, which I believe would be fives. Uh, I think this would be a terrific battle pack. Now, uh, including fives, at first I was thinking, should I include three 501st Troopers, which many folks would like, but uh, if you look at some of the battle packs uh, recently, LEGO has been including some bit more specific characters in them. Uh, for example, the Bounty Hunter battle pack has all four like specific characters. Um, same with some of the newer ones uh, with the Jedi battle pack. So definitely, I feel like LEGO is trying to add more specific characters from the shows or movies or whatever and uh, I ended up kind of continuing that trend but this would be a terrific battle pack and again this would be a bit more of an Umbara themed battle pack and so this also would have been great I believe in 2013 or so 2012 uh, when the Umbara and HMC, HMC I believe it's called that Umbara vehicle was released but again this would be a terrific battle pack with $15 for uh, minifigs and a walker so there's the five first trooper battle pack all right but anyways there you go so there's a look at five awesome custom lego star wars battle packs so let me know what you guys think which one of these was your favorite and again if you have any other lego battle pack set ideas put that down in the comments below stay tuned for more videos coming very soon and again also don't forget to check out my instagram uh, to take a look at some awesome other custom sets and uh, that's going to do it for this video. So thank you so much for watching. More videos are coming very soon, including another uh, mini mock of Mustafar. So stay tuned for that. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. This is BrickWizard59, and I'll see you all next time.